Hi everyone, 30th of September 2018 and I have a dream to share with you. It was a very long one and it comes at the end of questions I had and in case you don't know, you can ask questions to God at any moment and in the Bible it says, uh, Ask and you shall receive. And boy, oh boy, is that true. <laughs> um, now, the divine mind of God Almighty thinks so much more different than us. So it takes us mere humans a little while to understand. So this is like a six-week-old question. Or maybe a month ago. I wanted to know more about the 144,000 and uh, I wanted to know if I was gonna get raptured. So, so the question is about who are the 144,000 and are we getting raptured soon? Yeah, that would be. <laughs> um, so this is last night, uh, maybe three times I woke up and the dream just continued and continued. And uh, there was a word said, and I also saw it in the dream, and it was Sukkot. Sukkot. Then this... Um, it was like I saw everything in like three or four or five dimensions. That even though there was action in the dream, it, it had different levels. So there was something about this button that was launched and there was a big fire. So at first glance, it's like an explosion. And then I was in it but it didn't touch me. I didn't die. So I was still on earth and I didn't die. But then I felt like I did die as in I went to another dimension, like maybe into heaven. But I was still on earth. And then I was talking to some people. And then there was a question of food, like swallowing something. I don't know if it was like a pill or swallowing something. And I came to understand that that means understanding what you read in the Bible. Because every time I woke up, I would ask God, could, could you elaborate? Could, could you tell me more? I want to know more. And this food, food is the word um, it says in the Bible. When Jesus was in the desert, he says, we do not live from bread alone, but from the word of God. Something I'm paraphrasing. So here are the food, and uh, so I'm understanding that it's telling me that I'm understanding what I'm reading in the Bible. And a uh, little anecdote about that. I started reading the Bible about a year ago, and I did not understand exactly. So I started going to church and to preachers and to, to, to priests. I went to the Catholic Church as well and I just wanted to understand it better and it just confused me more. And it's only when I asked for wisdom and I asked for understanding. Every time I read the Bible before I would read it, I would do like this little prayer, which is praying means closing your eyes and just talking. Uh, you know, I, you could ask for things too, but um, sort of like you, how you speak to God, it is, that's the prayer. So uh, let me not get sidetracked, so the dream continues. With, um, when I said this thing between earth and heaven, it's almost like there's a portal. And I feel like what it's telling me is that the 144,000 
are being trained right now. They are the secret um, army of God. And so no one notices because they're still among us, but they are being brought to heaven and back down. And it was during a storm. During the storm, you will feel your immortal bodies come to life. Rise and shine. The dry bones, like the story of the dry bones, where God takes one of his uh, um, prophets, one of his messengers, he takes them into the spirit realm. And in the spirit realm, you could see what you can't see here. And this portal is always been here actually um, part of the portal as in our dreams everybody every human being dreams and every human being is made of flesh and bone but every human being we have a spirit man or woman and this spirit man or woman never sleeps because spirits do not sleep like God do not sleep and in our dreams the spirit woman or man in my case i'm a woman the spirit woman uh, uh goes through things and as you start understanding that these are messages from god uh, god gives you more information like he takes you like um like you can fly sometimes he takes you way high up into heaven and come back and but it's all part of a dream so you can um better digest it because let's face it guys if we saw an angel right now right in front of me I I, I think I would pee in my pants I, I, <laughs> I might just like what do you call it uh, faint right and 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 God knows it like um, in the book of Moses in Exodus 20 when he says the Ten Commandments at the very end the people are on the floor you talk to us, Moses. This God is too much. God is too much. It is. It's too much for our human bodies to take. But our spirit self can take it. And depending on your walk with God, some people are actually okay. They've seen actual presence of Jesus and they're okay. In my case, I would faint. And I think most people today... <laughs> Um, yeah, the, 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 the part about the dry bones, it seems that we are in a specific time and that God is uh, awakening his 144,000, his secret army, and he's giving them like, who knows what it is, like extra, well, definitely extra knowledge, maybe extra supernatural powers for what's to come and what's to come it seems uh that it's the big armageddon that's to come a uh, big catastrophes disasters and uh the good news i find is that no matter what happens in the future the secret army the 144,000 are here to help us to protect us they're here to gather the lost, so people that have never heard of God or Jesus, they, they, they're here to gather. But when the rapture comes, and some people that have never heard of Jesus, or, or for whatever reason, the people that will be here, or some people say the left behind, but I don't like that term. It seems like they did something wrong. No, they just didn't go through the different trials. And then, so some of the 144,000 that are going to come during that tribulation time, I guess, during that hard time of judgment, uh, and going to lead the people to uh, these secret hiding places, like, I, like it says in um, Revelation 6, that the woman will be hidden for three and a half years after she gives birth. To the to the baby so that it seems like it's talking about the birth of the church the rapture 
and uh, and and some people look we all have pieces of the puzzle and we need each other guys if you have any comments please comment uh, about what you think I'm gonna end with uh, th this dream that that's it. The, there's going to be, or maybe it's happening uh, right now, like a transfiguration, like a transformation of the 144,000. They're starting to get to know each other and know who they are within their personal life and get to know each other. Um, they can spot each other. And um, yeah, for the transfiguration. So that's what I had to share with you guys. Um, I want to thank the Lord for giving me uh, this dream. I want to thank everyone that's uh, listening to this message. I want to send blessings to everyone. And the fire wall of protection from God to every single person that's listening to this this covering a firewall of protection on each and every one of our families and our homes. In the name of Jesus, I pray. And um, in case you don't know Jesus, in case you don't know God, God loves you and knows you from before you were born. And He has chosen you in this special time to live in this time which is guys in our lifetime we're gonna get to see God coming down from heaven Jesus Christ his second coming and um, he just wants you to acknowledge him to love him to come back to him he loves you very very much and he wants you to say, okay, God, I'm not sure, but I want to believe. I want to have the salvation of Jesus Christ. I believe that he died on the cross for our sins, that he was risen on the third day, and that he is alive, that he is alive and he is now on the right hand of the Father of God. If you said this prayer with me, you've now received them in your heart. You gotta say it with um, with honesty, but he will know. And if you said it with honesty, you have now chosen everlasting life. You already have the everlasting part, but unless you choose the everlasting life you're unfortunately going to be tricked to have the everlasting death which is in the lake of fire with our enemy the devil so don't let him fool you you investigate you take this to god these words or what other people are saying and you just close your eyes and ask god and he will answer not in a big voice like that, but he'll answer through other videos. He'll answer by giving you a dream. And if you read the Bible, just open it up and he will, he will give you clues. It's like, a, it's like a bit of a puzzle, this Bible. <laughs> I'm excited because all the clues are coming in, guys. <sighs> I give all the glory and the might to our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. See you guys again. Bye-bye.